Once upon a time, Jason and I had a job. We have had many jobs in the past. Whether we're pulling weeds or building something for someone, you know, we just do odds and ends. And it's, it's always great. It's a great way to get income and to work for someone and be helpful in the world. But this one job we got called to was probably one of the most interesting jobs we have ever had. Jason and I got up in the morning and we ate our breakfast, we packed our lunch, we got our water bottles ready, we had all our bags ready and we're like, alright mom, we're ready to go. But mom wasn't driving us there this time like she normally does, our employers were coming to pick us up. So, we went in the car with our employers and we drove up to a cemetery. We were gonna dig a grave for a cremated body that day. This was not a normal job. Jason and I had never done this before. We had absolutely no experience in grave digging whatsoever. So we got there. They gave us a tour of the graveyard. I now know more about graveyards than I want to. We went to the tool shed and they gave us a bunch of random tools that would help us dig this grave. <sighs> the next part was interesting. They took us out to where they wanted us to dig a hole. Problem was, there was already a grave there. They wanted us to dig down to the tomb so they could lay the cremated body on top of the tomb. This would then be with like the wife who got cremated and the husband on the bottom who was not cremated. So Jason and I had to dig down to this tomb. So we start digging. No joke, third strike of the shovel, I hit something. It was metal. Jason and I went total archaeologist on this. We got down on our hands and knees, we started sweeping away the dirt, and we found this metal circular object, like a, like a can of soup, but in the ground. And it wasn't a can of soup. So, we asked our employers, you know, what's going on? What's this can of soup that's not a can of soup doing here? They said, oh, Mexicans crossed the border and they buried their own dead. This was not okay. The one grave out of all the graves for Jason and I to be digging at, we find the one with the dead Mexican? No, that's not okay. So Jason and I start digging some more. I am still obsessed with this cylinder of metal that supposedly had a cremated Mexican in it. So I, I go digging. I dig around it. I'm like, what is this thing? I need to find out. If this is a body, I want, I want to, I want to dig it up. Like, what are, what are graves for? This wasn't supposed to be there, so technically I'm not really, like, disturbing anything. Right? I dig it up, and it was a flower pot upside down. Yeah. Super anticlimactic, but at least it wasn't a cremated Mexican. So Jason and I continued to dig, and, you know, we're, we're going down some more. We continue digging. We're... We're doing all this stuff, and then employers come out. I'm like, oh no, did we mess up? But we didn't. It was just time to eat. So we went in to have lunch. Jason and I took out our backpacks. We brought out our scrumptious salads with bacon and chicken and m more meat than there was greens. So we were eating, and I don't know why, but our employer took a green bag off a bookshelf. They then brought it close to Jason and I. These are the ashes that you're digging a hole for! While we were eating! This was not okay! I was not okay with this! We were in the middle of eating, inside, I'm like screaming, I'm like, get that away from me! That is dead! I am sorry, but I am eating! Any other time, that would be fine, but not now. I'm eating! This is my time to fill myself with nutrients so I can live. Not a show and tell for dead people! I was extremely freaked out. 
And it was not okay! Well, they, they eventually took it away. I'm screaming on the inside, but staying calm and collected on the outside. I finish up my my lunch. I'm ready to go. Like, I, I just want to get this job done and over with. This has been enough graveyard weirdness for me. And so, Jason is using a breaker bar to get the hard dirt and stuff out of the way so he can scoop it out with the shovels. He strikes the bar down once. I hear a thunk. He strikes it down again. Another thunk. He strikes it down a third time. And another thunk. And he's like, I think there's something down here, Reuben. And I'm like, Jason! Stop! I look down there. He has made three to five holes in a fiberglass casket. This was also not okay. Jason went and told our employers. They said it was okay because we were putting another body on top of it and that body had been there for several years. So it had already finished decomposing and all that. So it was fine. But that was just, I don't know, if, if there was like a spirit or a ghost somewhere in there, that would have totally like come out and possessed one of us. Super weird. But yeah, Jason and I finished that job. That is definitely something I will not forget. But it's definitely not going to be something I remember in a fond way. <laughs> That's for sure. There's no good way to end this than just saying goodbye. So goodbye.